Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm the big cat. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Furious Homer Simpson from Jack's Pacific. First up, packaging. Very simple packaging here from Jack's Pacific. Got some shots on the front. The Simpsons. On the side, another product shot of Homer. On the back, another product shot of Homer. Showing off the gimmick and his accessories. And on the other side, another shot of Furious Homer, but this time by Matt Groening. Matt Groening. On the bottom, barcodes. All right, let's crack it open and see what's inside. Get a booklet. Not really a booklet, more of an instruction manual. And legalese. Let's get the nippers out, cut some of these ropes. Be careful. Don't touch the figure, and that's it. All right. Oh, we get some fencing back there, and another bag full of broken fencing. Broken wooden fences for Furious Homer. As for, I don't know what fans want, this is probably, this is probably my least uh, wanted figure out of the premium line so far. Not as interested in it as uh, Radioactive Man or Vampire Mr. Burns, but I'll take what I can get. Get Homer out of the packaging, get his little waiting pool. What do you call that? Little pool? Little piscine? Let's quickly take a look at the instruction manual. One, two, three, five steps to build the fence. Nice. Let's take a look at the details of Homer, and he is molded in green plastic this time, with uh, the yellow being painted on. So you could see it kind of, it didn't do the best job in certain places, you could see the green coming through, but the effect works very well, I think. Since he was going to be more green than yellow, it makes sense that they would mold him all in yellow, uh, in green, excuse me. Not bad, nice, angry face sculpt. In the back, we got a giant button. Bottom of his feet have some pegs. It's always nice. Little side silhouette of Homer. Yeah, I'd say this is my least favorite of the bunch. You know, same old articulation. The head just moves left and right. And there's the gimmick. I actually don't mind the gimmick. The gimmick's pretty fun. Not bad. But still my least favorite, I would say. Just because I don't, I'm not a big, like, ooh, Furious Homer, kind of like the Hulk, I guess. Uh, he's hulking out, getting mad. I don't know. Can't have everything, though. So, you know, uh, two out of the three premium figures giving you what you want is pretty damn good, especially compared to a little company named Super 7. The head, left and right. The arms don't go up as high on Homer. Kind of get a sagging T pose out of him. Because of the gimmick, we have a bicep swivel, a single jointed elbow. That gets you way less than 90. And the hand is on a peg hinge. So you get all around and in and out. The waist is locked down completely, so that's different from the regular Homer Simpson figure. Because of the gimmick, again, kicks out like that. Pretty good. Got a thigh swivel. Single-jointed knee that gets you some pretty good range compared to the elbow. And the foot, a little bit of up, a little bit of down. Up, down, side to side, and some pivot. 
articulation is all you're going to need for a furious Homer Simpson. Taking a look at the accessories, we have a nicely done pink and pink waiting pool, a little child's pool. We got some more 20th century fox on the bottom. We can just stand Homer up in that. We have a very nicely done green paint can. And a whole bunch of fencing. That is all right, but more of a pain in the butt. It just it just falls apart so easily. I mean, I know it's supposed to do that, but whatever. They give you a lot of fence in this. So if you're looking for some cartoon fencing for dioramas or whatever, you pick up this Homer and it'll fulfill all your needs. There you go. Three links of fencing. Actually, four separate pieces of fence in various sizes. There we go. <laughs> That's the trick. All the accessories and mayhem you would ever need with a Furious Homer. Let's do some comparisons. First up, next to the original Homer Simpson from Jack Specific in Series 1, from Series 1 of their Simpsons line. Get to see them side to side. Let's put them next to another premium figure, Radioactive Man. And Vampire Mr. Burns. Next to Otto. Bartman. A Super 7 Ultimates Mo. Another Super 7 Ultimates figure, Krusty the Clown. Next to a Mezco 112 Collective. Amazing Spider-Man. Next to a three and three quarter inch Silver Surfer from Marvel Legends. And of course, because this is what we do here, the orb. All right, that's going to do it for our look at Furious Homer from Jack Pacific and another solid release. Uh, I can't recommend this line enough. Uh, they're cheap. Well, comparatively, these are more expensive, these premium figures, than the basic ones. Their basic 5-inch line. But for the price and the value they give you, I got no reason to tell you guys not to pick these up. I don't know why I did a double negative there, but uh, highly recommended. I recommend every single figure from the Simpsons line so far. And if you're not getting on board, I highly suggest you do because... It looked to be a little hard to get right now. A very well done figure from Jack Specific. Just continuing their line of hits with the Simpsons line. And that's going to do it for the video, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. That notification bell. And if you feel like it, leave a comment down below. I'm the Big Cat. I'll catch you guys next time.